Let's see. Story time number four. Where are we at? I was worried the snow was going to be soft. This is amazing. The last time I'd been there, in early February, the snow had been like literally nipple deep. But when I landed, it, it, it was awesome. I mean, there had been a wind event and the snow was super hard. Everything had changed. It had been three or four weeks since I'd been there and it was just, it was um, optimal. I guess we'll go try to put that snow machine on this airplane and get that thing out here. Before I forget, there's a part I forgot to tell. When I left Wasilla and headed up to move the snow machine that day, en route, I triggered a massive avalanche. Maybe I shouldn't say I triggered it. At very least, I was in the exactly right spot at the exactly right time. It started as an ice calving off the face of a glacier and then it turned into, it fell into the snow and then turned into a great big avalanche and it started above me and it ended below me and it made me feel about that big. It was ginormous and awesome and a little scary. I, I got a relatively good video of it here with my iPhone. Back to the snow machine. Just didn't want to forget. I don't see what could possibly go wrong. Boy, am I ever thankful. I've been thinking about that for a long time. That went good. Not that there was any reason why it shouldn't have gone good. It's been a month, more than a month, but the weather and snow conditions, it just hasn't been possible. <clears throat> Got the ski back on. I still gotta do the track though. I don't think I'm gonna have time for that though. I think I'm gonna hit the trail. Well, it's as far as I'm gonna get for today. Super thankful though to have that thing in here. This is good. We got a skidoo at the hut. Now we just need some building materials.
Let's start a new clip. 